Sam here from Sheridan Computers. I'm going to walk through how to configure a TP-Link TD8817 uh, modem stroke router in bridge mode. Uh, the reason I want to put it in bridge mode is so that I can use it with PFSense and basically have PFSense dialer connection uh, and PFSense handle all the security for the firewall and everything else. So uh, these uh, TP-Link TD8817s are really good for this. I've used them a lot. They're cheap and they just work. You literally just use them for a modem and nothing else. Um, so by default, this modem is on 192.168.1.1 and it does hand out DHCP addresses on that network. So uh, as long as you plug it into the network card on your computer, you should be good to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log in with the default username and password of admin and admin. Okay, at this stage, um, we're going to use a wizard to start with. So let's go ahead and click on quick start. Uh, so this is an ADSL router, so we're going to go ahead and run the wizard for it. Let me pull this window over here. Uh, and there's a couple of things that we need to set, internet connection, time zone, uh, and then save the settings. So let's walk through that. Uh, set your time zone, that's pretty much straightforward. Choose the time zone where you are and select next. I am in uh, UK, so London time zone is fine for me. Uh, so by default, you'd normally set it with PPPoE or PPPoA if you didn't have a PFSense box that you're using um, or some other firewall. But we're going to go with bridge mode. So going in bridge mode, basically we can put the uh, ISP username and password into PFSense and have PFSense handle all the connection. These settings, um, you need this information provided by your ISP and it is pretty much country specific. So uh, please bear in mind these settings are for the UK on this modem and the VPI in the UK is zero. Uh, and VCI is going to be 38. So for connection type, we have a couple of options. We have 1483 bridged IP LLC and we have 1483 bridged IP VC MUX. So the VC MUX is kind of single protocol connection and the LLC is supports multiple protocols. I'm on BT and my internet connection at home is pretty poor anyway. I only get up to like five megs out of it. So I'm going to go with VCMUX because it has less overhead. But you need to check these connections specific to your ISP. Um, so I say I'm on BT at home and these are kind of perfect for that. So the wizard's complete. So let's go ahead and finish. And close. So at this point, um, it will work, but there are a couple of uh, other options that we should set up. One thing we want to do is to go into the interface. Um, so it's got virtual circuit and PVC summary. Let me drive this window over. So it's set to six, which is basically what we've just set up, which is this here. It's basically just the same details that we put in. Um, the rest of it we can pretty much leave the same. If we take a look at uh, LAN, so this is where you set the IP address of the modem if you want to change it. Uh, DHCP, because we're using bridge mode, we don't need DHCP. Everything's going to be handled by PFSense. So let's go and save that. Under advanced setup, the firewall is enabled. So we want to disable the firewall. Um, well, the firewall, obviously, we're using is PFSense in this case. Um, well, whichever, if you're using a Cisco router or whatever you're using, but um, I want to disable the firewall so the traffic actually gets to my router and I can do port forwarding from there. So let's save that. Um, routing, we can leave NAT deactivated because um, we're in bridge. So that's pretty much all we need to set in there. Um, we don't need to set any VLANs up or anything. We can leave that. Access management, um, again, you can leave this. We'll go to maintenance. It's never a good idea to leave the default username and password in a modem. So go ahead and change that. 
It will ask you to um, log back in at this stage. So that's it. This is now configured completely in bridge mode and um, should work. I'll find out shortly because the next video I'm going to do is uh, going to be setting up a PPoE connection using a bridge modem on PFSense. But it will work. I'm pretty confident. I've done it a million times. And we can see from the status, we connected to the lines and everything. Um, that's pretty much it for as far as this video goes. So uh, these are cheap. Let's say I've used them many times. Um, I can't remember the exact price on them. They're like less than 20 quid anyway. So they're perfect for the job. Um, I hope this video does help. And if you do like it, please take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you will also receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. Thank you for watching.